Now to Clay County with schools starting in two days. Questions are arising over the arrests of two school district employees. Earlier this month, we told you about Marion Nichols, who was arrested on child porn charges. Then this past Wednesday, News for Jacks learned of an Oak Leaf High School teacher, Francisco Franzisi, arrested and accused of having sex with a student. Today, Channel 4's Scott Johnson spoke with the superintendent about the school's background check process and what parents are saying. When the gates open and students start coming back to this and all the other Clay schools on Tuesday, the two people in trouble with the law will not be allowed back. They're suspended while their criminal investigations are underway. And it's those two criminal investigations that have parents around the county asking about what type of background checks are done. Our questions for Clay County Schools started August 3rd when we learned about the arrest of 56-year-old Marion Keith Nichols of Green Cove Springs, a Clay School bus driver who investigators say had child porn in his possession. Across the county on Wednesday, we learned about Francisco Francisi, a teacher in Oakleaf charged with having sex with an underage student. You can imagine what Clay parents think about these stories. Well, is that something you worry about with the people they employ? Of course. Of course, nobody don't want your kids going to school with someone that is doing something like that. Hopefully when they're hired on, they have extensive background checks. So that's something you'd like to see is those background checks? Yeah, absolutely. If you're involved with children of any kind, any way, shape, form, or fashion, Absolutely. So we talked to Superintendent Addison Davis this week about what the district does to ensure employees who work with children are safe. We have a rigorous uh, vetting process of how we hire our candidates. Uh, we make certain that every candidate is fingerprinted through the National FBI database along with the FDLE database in order to determine if there's any viol arrest violations that are against a statute. Davis adds the employees will be dealt with immediately once the police investigations are done. He also implored parents to keep track of what their children are doing online and with social media. This was an issue in the arrest of Frazizi, where investigators say the father found inappropriate text messages on his daughter's phone. Parents, please, I urge you to please understand what your kids are actively doing every single day. Please, under, please monitor their cell phones, understand what they're doing before, during, and after schools. And you have to be connected to the social media process. And in the Nichols case, I asked about whether or not he was alone with children. He's been employed since 2008, and the district could tell me at least his most recent route this past year did have a bus monitor, another adult on the buses with him. So at that point, at least, he was not alone with children. In Clay County, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.